Today we're going to be talking about the new mid-journey features, zoom out and pan, that come with version 5.2. First, let's go over zoom out. Here is a quick snip from mid-journey uh, explaining how it works. So a couple of things to note. First, the main feature is that we're going to be able to take our images and create new versions of them that are zoomed out anywhere from one times uh, all the way up to two times. Second, we're gonna be able to change non-square images into square, which can be pretty useful. And then lastly, there's a custom setting that allows us to get even more precise and we can change the prompt, aspect ratio, and zoom all at once. So jumping into Discord and Midjourney, um, I did already use a prompt. Uh, so the prompt I created was person standing on a bridge with a beach and fireworks in the background warm and welcoming scene. And then I did set the aspect ratio to two to one just to have a little bit of a wider image. Um, and then to use this zoom out feature, we do have to upscale one of the images. So out of these four, um, I thought they were all pretty good, but I like the fourth one the most. So we're gonna use that today. So again, we do have the option to zoom out anywhere from 2X all the way down to uh, the current zoom, which is 1.0. Um, so let's try 2x and see what the difference is from the original picture. All right, so here is our original image. And then you can see that these new ones are much more zoomed out and Midjourney filled in the outskirts in the top and then um, the rest of the bridge at the bottom here from what it zoomed out. To make this even better, Midjourney also added a custom zoom option here. So if we click the custom zoom, we can actually change the prompt itself along with the aspect ratio and the zoom. So what we'll do to kind of generate a different image, we'll make it a little bit wider. We'll keep that zoom at two and then we can change the prompt a little bit. Let's put boats are floating in here to see you know, what the difference is. Great, so you can see with our changes, uh, we go from our initial image here to something much different. Um, so you can see it's much wider, it's much more zoomed out, and then we changed our prompt, so now we have these boats in the water, which is pretty cool. The last option that we have is this make square option. So it will basically convert you know, the picture that we have here into a square picture. So again, here is our original image. And then that make square feature changed them into square images. Moving along to the pan feature, here is the snip from Midjourney and showing you exactly what they added. So as you can see, basically they added these buttons on the bottom below zoom out that allow us to pan in whatever direction that we prefer. Before we jump in, uh, make sure that you do have remix mode on in your settings. So to check this, you can do backslash settings. Um, if you click enter twice, um, just make sure that you have remix mode selected here. Back to our original image. Um, looking at the image, I feel like it would be fun to pan to the right here and see what Midjourney comes up with. So we'll click pan to the right and we'll click submit and um, see what happens. So let's take a peek again at our original image. And then looking at the panned right version, you can see that Midjourney took everything from the original image and then just added more onto the right side. Where this gets really interesting is when you choose a direction. Uh, so we'll stick with to the right just for consistency, but then change the prompt that you had before. So let's do boat explosion, dark. And then we'll see what Midjourney comes up with. It should be a pretty big contrast from what we had before. Here is the initial image one more time. And then here is our new panned right version with the boat explosion. So I think this top left image is my favorite. Um, you can see the major contrast between what we started with and what happened when we changed the prompt while panning right. The possibilities are really endless with both zoom out and panning. Um, 
what a lot of people have been doing is using the initial image and then pairing it with the pan to the right, to the left, or with the zoom outs to create a story. Um, and they've been doing this by pairing the pictures together within a video editor, adding music, and again, really telling that story that they're creating within the changes of the images, which is really cool. Um, I'm planning another video to show an example of how that works, uh, but there's really so many options of what you can do with both of these new features that Midjourney added. As always, thank you so much for watching. 